You might think we're pulling your leg, but this is a true tale. An Irishman and two Welshmen were on board a fishing boat in Darwin Harbour. We were just about to, uh, to move on to another reef mark and we spotted something in the distance. So we were able to, to kind of sneak up on it um, quietly and it was a wallaby in much distress in the middle of Darwin Harbour. The group circled the struggling animal and without thinking scooped him up, safe from any hungry crocs which may have been lurking below. He was taken back to shore and it wasn't long before the fishermen had made a new friend. They fed the thirsty wallaby a big dose of water before he sprung off into the wilderness. <laughs> You couldn't have written the script better, you know, there's a wallaby in the middle of, of Darwin Harbour and the three, the three Celts save it, so it was amazing. An amazing coincidence it is, this Celtic film crew, along with renowned actor Julian Lewis-Jones, are in Australia making a fishing documentary. It'll coincide with the Lions rugby tour. Saving an Aussie wallaby wasn't really on their to-do list. Uh, there we are, you know, two Welshmen and an Irishman rescue a wallaby. So the timing is perfect. Darwin Harbour is certainly known for its quirky nature. There's been spottings of crocodiles, buffaloes and even a four-wheel drive has taken a dip in the harbour. But a wallaby is the last thing these blokes expected to find. I've just texted my son now to tell him that uh, Dad rescued a wallaby from the middle of Darwin Harbour. He probably thinks I'm winding him up, you know. But, uh, but no, it was... Uh, yeah, it was special. You know, a special day for us all, I think, yeah. The group managed to capture the entire rescue on camera and it will feature in their documentary, but they reckon it probably won't be the last time a wallaby needs saving in the next few months. No, we're very generous, the Celts, you know. No, no, we're not like the Pommies. We're very generous, we are. No, we let the lions beat the wallabies. Yeah, we'll yeah. just save them for now. Hannah Dawkins, Nine News.